Welcome to AWE Grand Finale. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we have been building up to this show for a long time. With a 20-minute time limit. Several first, months in the making, even. Well, first match about to start. We're getting right into the action. John Pond rocking that Will Smith crop top. I had the displeasure of interviewing Snot today, and they are raring to go. They are ready for this match. This is the match they've been waiting for for a very long time. You gotta think, John Pond, cruiserweight champion since the last event. Will That's that good. affect his performance today? Will that give him the arrogance that might cost him the victory? There's only one way to find out, and that's getting ready for the action that we are about to see here at Grand Finale. Any tag team action, in my opinion, is good tag team action, and Snot has come here to Pun deliver. Has a mic. Pun has a mic. Wait, wait a second. Later on today, there's a match for this EWE Cruiserweight Championship. Unfortunately, the champion was never advertised for the match. Therefore, I am out here to vacate this championship and show everybody that it's not, it's the best tag team here in EWE. Did he just, did he just throw that damn title? I believe he just vacated the Cruiserweight title. You know, he's too good for that title anyway, honestly. He's too good for that title. We're gonna see shortly. Are you kidding me? I don't think anyone is above a title. There's only one way to find out, and that's if you have the talent to back up what your words are. Oh, wait a second. Oh, and that's, that's Eris. And you can see their opponents accompanied by Eris Ray from Freehold, New Jersey. And I'm talking about where they have 60 pounds between Mama Lucas Day and Lawrence Spiral. Cause in the band. Lucas saying Lawrence Spiral. And the lovely Eris. Cause and effect, a well-known tag team on the Long Island circuit. They're well-known on the Long Island. Wait a second! There we go. Coming in from behind. Wait That's a second! What true champions do. Those are what true champions are probably. Are you kidding me? True, true champions? Absolutely. It's not. Wait. Ring around the rosy. Hip toss. Snot. And Chris, Chris Rex getting out like a scalded dog. Big hip toss from cause and effect there. They're definitely here. And a snap mare take over the pond. Lawrence Ball and Sane setting him up. Snap on. Snap man crossbody colored. And you two. call snot cowards? You call snot cowards? They're two on one, one for right now. They're getting up on John Pun right now. And you want to call them cowards? Well, I mean, just because they got the one up on a man who didn't even have, who didn't bring prestige to that Cruiserweight Championship, he just had the audacity to throw it right out the road. What a drop kick in the corner! Oh, I've seen this before. Rhyme and reason. The tag move done by cause and effect. Bicycle made for two, they like to call that. Absolutely. That's you know, this is borderline bullying. John Punt is half the size of both these men. Size didn't matter when he won that cruiserweight championship. Against other cruiserweights. These two are clearly not cruiserweights. Kick to the knee. Kick to the back of the knee right there. And a chop block for good measure. John Punt working the leg like a true veteran, like a true champion would. And Eris on the outside rallying the crowd. Here comes Punt. Looks like we got a toehold applied here. We've seen Paul oh, look at Chris Rex kicking that damn rope. Come on. Where's the justice? Knee drop, Andre to the side of the knee. You know, John Punt. knee to knee, usually it's a stalemate, but when you have the mat there to, you know, be the platform, the knee coming down always wins. Tag in by John Pun to Chris Rex. Chris Rex sends him out. No. Oh, little. 
Oh, a little. Double straight jacket neck breaker that looked like right double there. Straight, uh, double straight jacket action. That's Only going to pick up a two. Wrestling. That is what true tag team wrestling is. Two people working in unison to take down one target. Speaking of working in unison, they've done a pretty good job of neutralizing the leg of Spiral. Come on, Spiral. Well, they can't do that patented double drop kick if their legs aren't working. Absolutely, and that's going to cause trouble for causing the fact shortly. You know, I haven't gotten a name yet. Eris, like she's on the drum line out there, beating the apron. Absolutely. Someone should get her out of the ring. She's distracting the other competitors. Well, she's not, I mean, she's not in the, in the ring. ring. No, get her out of the arena. She does has, She has no right being here. Is she competing? No. What is she doing here? Eris is here to root her guys oh, on, and I don't blame European her. European uppercut. European uppercut, uppercut with some stank on it. Some Pepe Le Pew on the European uppercut. A little bit, a little bit of snot on it, as you would say. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, beautiful scoop slam by Chris Rex. Scoop slam. Chris Rex. Chris Rex looks like he's setting up for something big. Chris Rex styling the head. Oh, are you serious? The are hubris. you serious? The well-deserved and earned hubris of Chris oh, Rex. Oh. Oh, Disrespecting. And that's how you clear the sinuses. Cover. Lauren Spiral has not gotten any offense. There. Lauren you know, Spiral has gotten zero offense the entire time. It's, he's he's still living. He's able to stay in this match, and that has to say something as well. Early resiliency is the best resiliency, I'd say. Any short sure resiliency shows that you still have the fight in you. And John Pun, the, the former cruiserweight champion, in. Dragon oh. takedown by John Pun. That injured leg coming into play clearly in this competition. And he cracked that whip like a dominatrix. And now he's gonna bring him around. Figure four style. A figure four leg lock applied by John. The Pond. most compromising leg submission in the business. Hands down, and done expertly by John Pun. To point where I don't even think Lawrence Spiral will be able to continue this match. You know what? This is coming from you, okay? Side out, a guy who said that John Pun couldn't even hang with these guys because of the size difference. He said here's a size doesn't matter. And it looks like the figure four was turned on to attack. You turn that momentum, and guess what? There's the second most devastating leg submission absolutely, in the business. Really, absolutely. Oh, oh man! Clocked him in the side of the head. Clocked him in the him side in of the head. Corner. They're keeping Spiral in the corner by any means necessary, and that's Sane what true champions do. Headbutts to the leg from John Pun to Spiral. Sane on the outside. He's got an eczema-like itch to get in this match. But he's helpless. Absolutely helpless by the duo of Snot. Oh, this is nasty. Chris Stomping a mud hole and tagging it dry. Mud hole stomps and John Pun comes in with even more. I mean, what? Sane can't do anything to stop it. He is stuck watching. Just along with the valet. Corner to corner, end over end. And now, you would think that. Can someone shut that banshee up? Hey, don't talk about Eris like that. If I wanted a valet cooking arena, I'd have her park my car. But no, she can go somewhere else. <laughs> It looks like we have something big happening here. Pun in the corner. Pun Chris Rex tagged in. I'm wondering, you know, Pun told me he didn't go to BP before he got here, so he might be running out of gas. Okay? Could be. Very easily could be. Mitch and Oku driver by Chris Rex. Into Rex. cover. Combination two. And that's all he's going to get. Oh, yeah. What a beautiful Mitch and Oku driver. They've been working the torso, the back, and the legs of Spiral this entire oh. time. Oh, no. Uh oh, going for the roll up. He rolls him up on oh, that like two. Slide out and whoa, turn it around. Oh, stretching out spiral. A bow and arrow stretch of some sort. It, it's it like a um, inverted Mexican surfboard. Absolutely. And as always, Sane and Ares are stuck helpless as they dismember this man piece by piece. Yeah, but Sane on that corner, and you've got to think that when he's coming in, he's going to be like a powder keg giving us sparks. Absolutely. Honestly, I've never be. seen a more pretentious duo than cause and effect. Oh, oh yeah, and Snot isn't, doesn't come off as pretentious at all. Not at all. Oh, kicked his head into the middle of next week. It's somewhere in Parsippany, as Jaws. That was a but he definitely the took the effect. Look at him holding his knee in pain. That kick may have done damage, but it did more to him than it did to Rex. Well. Harris trying to get the crowd behind cause and effect, and it does seem to be working. I don't it know what Harris is doing. This is not a drum circle in the middle of a park. <laughs> this is a wrestling ring. It should be treated with the respect the of Sane. Oh, Sane here we go. Sane, shut on clothesline. Here comes Sane. Drop right here. Cap kick another. 
a quick cover. One, one, two. Kick out by the former Cruiserweight champion, John Pun. Two is all it's gonna be. And, and Spiral rolling out. Attempting to roll out of the ring with his injured oh, leg. Oh, that leg. Honestly, I what a suplex there. I think Sane is on his own for the rest of this match. Look at the way Spiral is holding that leg. Two count, and it was closer and quicker than a hiccup. What is that? Is he crying on the apron right now? I mean, when your leg is... He's calling for Spiral. I don't think Spiral has it. I don't think it was a wise decision there to tag Spiral back in. I don't think that was wise at all. It was a big... Big chance. That's you know what? If you're snot, then you're having oh, a good day. Oh, Look no. at that landing right on that bad leg. He may have tweaked the knee. And Chris Rex and John Punter both in. There it is. The nail in the coffin. It might be the final nail. It might be the final nail in the coffin. Oh, he should have covered him. John Punt ending this match by any means necessary. Oh. And they call this the nosebleed. Nosebleed. Nosebleed knee drop. One, two. Three, it's over! There Snap, it is. like Stop. I said, like I said, Snap we comes out victorious. The the Nosebleed knee drop for the win! For the win! I told you, no one can stand up to two professionals such as Snap. Snap did what they said they were gonna come here and do. They came here and dominated cause and effect and approved the point to every team in that EWE log. And all I can say is that for once I am happy that I don't have to hear that incessant screeching. Oh, fucking Snot doing exactly what they set out to do.